Hello and welcome to yet another season of Sims 4 Survivor. This is the sixth season I do. The actual sixth season. I accidentally said in the last video that that was the sixth season, but that was actually the fifth season. My apologies. This time around, we don't have any sort of theme. It is just Sims 4 Survivor, Stranger Will, because we are playing in Stranger Will. And the cast is pretty much just random Sims that I wanted to include in the cast. So let's introduce them. The first tribe we have is the Conspiracy Theorists tribe. This tribe is composed of Alex Moyer from the base game, Alice Martin from Stranger Will here with a home field advantage potentially, Diego Lobo from City Living, Eloise Hiddlesticks from High School Years, Hector Laurent from My Betting Stories, Jay Huntington III from the base game, Luna Shadows from For Rent. If you've never seen The Sim before, she is one of the tenants that you can um, lease uh, your residential rental to. One of the pre-made tenants. Then we have Maika Haas from Get Together. And finally, Simon Scott from Cottage Living. The second tribe we have is the Secret Agents tribe. This includes Becca Clark from Discovery University, Celine Lopez from Werewolves, Dirk Dreamer from Get Famous, Faiz Jalil from My Wedding Stories, Jeffrey Landgrab from The Base Game, Miko Ojo from City Living, Paka'a Uha from Island Living, one of the pre-made mermaids, Rita Kumbis from uh, High School Years, and Terunasaki, also from Forant, also one of the pre-made tenants. We are playing through the South Pacific format, so we do have Redemption Island in play, which if you have not watched the show, Redemption Island is a place where the eliminated players will go and they will compete in a challenge and the person who wins will continue playing on and the other person gets eliminated for good. And then at the merge, the sole person remaining will get to return to the game. And then also at the final six, was it, I think? The same thing happens again. Why South Pacific? I don't really know. I just kind of wanted to try doing Redemption Island, seeing if that kind of works. I could have also done, you know, actual Redemption Island, but I decided not to. We also have a relationship pilot on. I really liked it in the last video, so I'm gonna do that again. And I guess without further ado, let's just get into it. We start out with the conspiracy theorists tribe. Hector and Alice feel a mutual slight dislike toward one another. Some immediate discourse going on in this group. However, Alice also seems to be bonding with Maike Haas and uh, Jay Huntington III. Jay also bonding with Hector. Uh, Simon and Alice also bonding. And then we have Simon and Maike not really bonding. They don't like each other. Alice seems to be liking Alex. And then we have Maike Haas and Diego Lobo. Slight dislike toward one another. I feel like those, <laughs> those two would not get along. Hector also doesn't really like Alex, and Hector also doesn't really like Diego. Alright, the Secret Agents tribe, we have Teruna and Jeffrey. Mutual medium dislike toward one another. Wow, it's already so much disdain toward one another, even though they just like got on the beach. But then also Rita and Faiz also don't really like each other at all. Then we have Teruna and Faiz, they seem to be bonding. Teruna also bonding with Becca. And then Faiz also not really getting along with Dirk Dreamer or Paka Uha. Rita and Miko seem to be bonding. Rita also bonding with Becca Clark. And Jeffrey and Dirk don't like each other. But Miko seems to like Dirk. Alright, so what I'm getting from this is that Faiz not well liked on this tribe. Kind of like by Taruna, but he's also not like doing super hot here. But I feel like Rita might be the one to watch out for. Maybe Miko Ojo as well. Alright, we will go into Reward. The secret agents, they win. They win a basket of taro and a piece of flint, all right? And we will go into immunity. Secret agents win again, which means the conspiracy theorists will go to tribal tonight. Let's see what's going on on the beach. Hector is impressing the rest of the team, even though, like, all of them hated him, like, a second ago. <laughs> but okay. Diego and Eloise find something in common, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Hector and Simon finding something in common, which also has a lasting impact. And we have our first alliance. It is Alice Martin and Diego Lobo together in a final two alliance. The only alliance on this tribe so far. Hopefully they can survive this vote and we can see how that develops. But for now, they are only at a loyalty of five. On the secret agent speech, we have Miko and Paka'a bonding slightly and Dirk Dreamer and Paka'a bonding slightly as well, which has a lasting impact. So Paka'a doing some work here. 
let's go to tribal. The first tribal of the season. We have the conspiracy theorists tribe here. We got Alex, Alice, Diego, Eloise, Hector, Jay, Luna, Maika Haas, and Simon. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Jay. That's one vote Jay. Second vote goes to Simon. One vote Jay, one vote Simon. The next vote goes to Jay. That's two votes Jay, one vote Simon. Next vote goes to Simon. That's two votes Jay, two votes Simon. We're tied. Five votes left. The fifth vote goes to Simon. So that's three votes Simon, two votes Jay, four votes left. Next vote goes to Jay, we're tied again. Three votes Jay, three votes Simon, three votes left. And the next vote goes to Simon. So that's four votes Simon, three votes Jay, two votes left. Next vote goes to Jay, we're tied again. Four votes Jay, four votes Simon, one vote left. We are a split tribe here, <laughs> immediately in the first tribal. All right, and the person voted out, unless someone else caught a vote here. It is going to be Jay Huntington the third. Final vote count, five versus four. Jay Huntington becomes the first boot. Kind of wild to see a base game sim go out as the first boot, but here goes Jay somehow taking the hit here. All right, well, that's too bad. RIP Jay, goodbye. Let's go through the votes we have. Alice, Diego, Eloise, Hector, and Simon voting for Jay. These are the people voting correctly. Um, Alice, Diego, that was the alliance. So they are the ones like helming this vote, I'm guessing. Then we have Alex, Jay, Luna, and Maike. They are the Simon votes. So I guess Alex, Luna, and Maike not in a great spot here, potentially. But let's move on to episode number two. All right, final 17. On the conspiracy theorist speech, we see Hector Laurent finding the hidden immunity idol. Great for him. We have this alliance still here. Then we have Hector and Eloise. They are bonding. Hector also bonding with Alex. And Hector also bonding with Diego. Hector really, really working that social game. While we're here, Simon and Hector also bonding. And uh, Hector doesn't like Alice, but Alice does like Hector. <laughs> That's interesting. Eloise and Diego also seem to be bonding, so Diego also with a decent social game here, as well as Eloise. Maike does not like Diego, but she does like Alice, and Alice likes Maike back. And then we have Maike and Hector feeling a mutual slight dislike toward one another. So it seems like Maike is not really getting along with her tribe super well. She does seem to like Alice, but not really anyone else. Alright, let's go to the other beach. The idol still hidden, no one's found it. Then we have uh, Paka'a feeling a medium bond toward Dirk, and Dirk feeling a small bond toward Paka'a, so these two kind of bonding, but Paka'a feeling like it's more legit than Dirk is. Paka'a and Miko also feeling a mutual small bond. Taruna and Jeffrey, they don't like each other at all. <laughs> Immediately, they, they are not getting along at all. Then we have Paka and Becca feeling a mutual small bond. Rita and Becca feeling a mutual sp small bond. Rita and Faiz, they don't like each other. But Rita does like Celine and she also has a slight bond with Miko. And then we have Taruna and Faiz having a mutual slight bond. All right. The main like conflict here seems to be Taruna and Jeffrey and uh, Becca and Faiz. These two pairs do not like one another at all. Let's go to the immunity and the secret agents. They win immunity again. The conspiracy theorists going back to tribal. So let's see what's going on on the beach. Hector and Luna have a major fight, which has a lasting impact. Oh no. And Alice and Diego, they are done. <laughs> this alliance lasted a whole episode. I mean, they at least voted together for one vote, but they're done. They don't want to work together anymore. Perhaps an alliance of convenience. I don't know. But we have another alliance forming. It is Alex Moyer, Eloise Hillsticks, and Hector Laurent. All right. This one seems to be a lot stronger than this one. They were only at a five, and this one is at a six, but Hector is at a seven. On the secret agent speech, we have Jeffrey and Paka'a finding something in common, and then Dirk Dreamer and Jeffrey also finding something in common, and this results in an alliance. Jeffrey Landgrab pulling these two people in, Paka'a and Dirk Dreamer, and... He also pulls in Miko Ojo for some reason. So we have our first alliance on the secret agent speech. 
But let's go to Tribal. All right, the conspiracy theorists, they are back at Tribal. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Maika Haas. One vote Maika. Next vote goes to... Maika Haas. <laughs> Two votes Maika. Six votes left. The next vote goes to... Simon. Two votes Maike, one vote Simon. And the next one goes to Maike. So that's three votes Maike and one vote Simon. And the next one goes to uh, Maike. So that's four votes Maike and one vote Simon. And the second person voted out. It is Maike has. That's five. That's enough. It was actually seven votes. So unanimous vote here. She was the only one to throw a vote on Simon. So Maike has second boot of the season. Tribe has spoken. <laughs> Honestly, kind of good that she's gone, because I don't even know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly or not, but <laughs> I tried, at least. I did Google how it is pronounced, but you never know with the internet, like, it, it could be lying. <laughs> Let's move on to episode number three. All right, final 16 here. Let's go to the conspiracy theorist tribe. We have this alliance going on. We have Hector with an unbreakable relationship toward Eloise and Alex. What? You guys just got together. You've been there for like six days. <laughs> but Alex also feeling an unbreakable relationship toward Hector. Hector and Diego also bonding. Eloise, she is not as into Hector as Hector is into her, but she is still at a medium bond. Eloise and Diego also bonding. Um, I feel like Diego is going to join this alliance, right? Like he likes all of them. All of them like him. I would not be surprised. Luna and Hector, they don't like each other. That's not great. And Simon and Hector, they do like each other. Hector and Alice also like each other. And then Simon and Luna don't like each other. <laughs> okay, Luna definitely on the bottom here of this tribe. Hector right on the top. I think he has the best social game on this tribe. I mean, he's leading this alliance. He's got a good relationship with Diego. He's got a good relationship with Simon and Alice. Yeah, I think he's doing the best job here. On the secret agent speech, we have Paka'a Uha finding the hidden immunity idol. Paka'a in a really good spot here. We have this alliance, the four-person alliance. Paka'a and Jeffrey, they like each other. Taruna and Jeffrey still hate each other. Jeffrey and Dirk Dreamer, they have a mutual medium bond. And then Rita and Miko, they like each other. Paka'a and Dirk, they like each other. But they only have a small bond. Then we have uh, Paka and Miko also with a small bond. Rita and Becca, they have a small bond. And Rita and Faiz, they have a medium dislike, still don't like each other. Paka and Becca, they like each other. And then Taruna and Becca also like each other. So Becca Clark actually in a pretty good spot here. I would be surprised if she goes out. I feel like this alliance would have to target her, but at least Paka likes her. So uh, I don't think they would target her yet. I'm expecting them to go after Taruna first since Jeffrey is kind of helming this alliance and he does not like Taruna at all. But let's go to the challenge. The, um, oh right, we have Redemption Island, which I <laughs> named the Secret Lab <laughs> after the Secret Lab of Stranger Will, of course. All right, we got Jay, we got Maika Haas here and they will compete in a challenge. I'm not going to read the challenge, but Jay, he wins. Maika she does not finish, so she is the official first boot of the season. R.I.P. Maika, she's gone, she's eliminated. All right, anyway, immunity challenge. The conspiracy theorists winning their first immunity challenge. They also win this reward, chocolate, coffee, tea, milk, and cookies. But more importantly, they are not going to tribal. What's going on on the beach? Alice is impressing the rest of the team, and Eloise, she's out of the alliance. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she had a good relationship with Hector, but apparently it was not reciprocated. All right, well, this alliance now down to two. It's Alex Moyer and Hector Lawrence. They do have an unbreakable bond with one another, so I imagine this one is not breaking up, like the two of them. They're probably going to try to go to the final two together, or final three. It's a final three season. Let's go to the secret agent speech. We have Becca and Taruna have a major fight, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Miko Ojo leaving the Jeffrey Land Grab Alliance. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I feel like you should probably just ride through at least one boat before leaving an alliance. But I don't know. Let's go to tribal. Let's see what happens. We have the secret agents tribe on their first tribal. It is Becca, Celine, Dirk, Faiz, Jeffrey, Miko, Paka'a. Rita and Taruna. 
And it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Celine. Second vote goes to Faiz. So that's one vote Celine, one vote Faiz. Seven votes left. The next vote goes to Faiz. That's two votes Faiz, one vote Celine. Fourth vote goes to Faiz. So that's three votes Faiz, one vote Celine. And the next vote goes to Faiz. So that's four votes Faiz, one vote Celine. Four votes left. And the next vote goes to Celine. So that's four votes Faiz, two votes Celine, three votes left. And the next vote goes to Celine. Four votes Faiz, three votes Celine, two votes left. It could still tie up. And the next vote goes to Celine. We're tied. Four votes Celine, four votes Faiz, one vote left. And the third person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor, Stranger Well, it is going to be Celine Lopez. I thought it was going to be Faiz, but Celine Tribe has spoken. She is eliminated from the tribe. She's gone. This has to be the alliance, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so we got Dirk Dreamer, Jeffrey, and Paka, and they pull in Taruna and Faiz. Jeffrey somehow pulls in Taruna, even though they hate each other? Okay, well, I guess they still have, like, a mind for the game. They're playing a solid, like, strategic game, even though their social game is not maybe the best one. <laughs> best so far. But the Faiz votes are Becca, Celine, Miko, and Rita, the women on the tribe. I guess it's a gender divide, apparently. But Celine goes out. She goes to the secret lab. <laughs> where she will face off against Jay Huntington in the next episode. Let's move on. On the Conspiracy Theorist tribe, we have this alliance now at a 9 and an 8. A collective 9 strength. Hector at a 9. Alex at an 8. So these two, they are locked in. They are not breaking apart. They have an unbreakable relationship. Hector and Diego also bonding very strongly. And Hector still likes Eloise, even though Eloise left the Alliance. I don't know about that, but Eloise only with a medium bond. I guess Eloise does not like Alex. That's gotta be it. Simon and Hector also liking each other. And then we have Eloise and Diego liking each other. Luna still not liking Hector and vice versa. And then we have Alice and Alex with a mutual small bond. The A names. Simon and Luna, they don't like each other. And Hector and Alice, they have a mutual slight bond. So Hector still with the best social game so far. Luna still on the bottom. Here we have the Alliance. Uh, Jeffrey and Paka'a are now at a 7. All right. And they also feel an unbreakable relationship with each other. <laughs> okay. Uh, Taruna and Jeffrey are at a strong dislike toward one another. Even though they voted together. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these two, but they hate each other. Rita and Miko feel a mutual medium bond toward one another. Paka and Becca feel a mutual medium bond toward one another. We got Jeffrey and Dirk with a mutual medium bond. We got Paka and Dirk with a small bond. So Dirk could be the weak link in this alliance if they are going to break up. But Becca is starting to not like Taruna either. So Taruna kind of not doing so hot. Maybe she doesn't like that he voted for Celine. Paka and Miko with a small bond, and then Faiz still does not like Rita, but Rita doesn't seem to care that much for Faiz either way. So that's something. So maybe there is hope here still. At the secret lab, we have Celine and Jay Huntington the third. They compete in a challenge, and Celine, she beats Jay. So Jay, officially second boot of the season, he's out. He would have been the first boot, but he survived one uh, Redemption Island challenge. So that's good for him. At least he got one spot higher than he should have. <laughs> anyway, immunity challenge. Let's see who wins. The Conspiracy Theorists, they win again. They also win some chickens. That's great. <laughs> All right, on their beach, we have Hector with the idol. We have Alice and Diego bonding strongly. And then we have Diego and Hector forming a final two alliance here. This is not like super surprising. They were already bonding a lot. They had a strong um, bond, I feel, in the relationships. I don't know. But they're officially in an alliance together now. Diego also working hard at camp and becomes tired. So that could affect him in the next challenge. But more importantly, the secret agent speech. We have Paka with the idol. We have Jeffrey and Paka having a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact. Oh no. I thought they had an unbreakable bond, but maybe not anymore. But we have another alliance. <laughs> 
It is the same alliance, basically, but Becca, Miko, and Rita are now joining the alliance. So who's not in this alliance? Faiz? And uh, someone else? Faiz and... Uh, hang on, let's see. Faiz and Taruna, right. All right, so probably Faiz or Taruna getting the boot here. I'm assuming Taruna has got to be it. You can also see that, like, Jeffrey and Paka are more loyal to this than the other people. So they definitely plant this. Even Dirk is not, like, super loyal to this. He's like, what are we doing? This is too much. But let's go to Tribal. Let's see if they hold together for one Tribal. We got the Secret Agents tribe here, once again. Paka has the idol, and it is time to vote. If anyone has the Hidden Immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Faiz. So that's one word Faiz. Second word goes to Taruna. That's one word Faiz. One word Taruna. Third word goes to Taruna. That's two votes Taruna. One word Faiz. And the fourth vote goes to Taruna. That's three votes Taruna. One word Faiz. And the fifth vote goes to uh, Taruna. So that's four votes Taruna. One word Faiz. And the fourth person voted out. It is Taruna. Unanimous vote here. Taruna, the tribe has spoken. He has to go to the secret, secret lab. Yeah, everybody voted for him. Aside from uh, Taruna, who voted for Faiz. And uh, we will move on. Very quick and easy tribal here. So episode number five. The tribes, they are even now. Let's see how their relationships are. We got Alex and Hector actually swapping loyalty. Alex is now at a nine and Hector at an eight. But still really strong. They still have a mutual unbreakable relationship. Diego and Hector also very loyal. Diego at an 8 and Hector at a 7. So Hector more loyal to Alex than he is to De Diego. Aloise and Diego seem to be having a strong bond. Hector and Aloise also with a strong bond. Hector and Diego with a strong bond. And then Simon and Hector with a medium bond. Luna and Hector still don't like each other. Alice and Alex, they have a small bond. Diego and Alice with a small bond. And Simon and Luna don't like each other still. And then finally, Luna and Alex, they have a small bond as well, which this could save Luna. If Alex is able to convince Hector to uh, keep her, then maybe they just go against Simon and take him out instead. Although Hector also seems to like Simon, and he seems to like Simon more than Alex likes Luna, so maybe not. On the Secret Agents tribe, we have Paka and Jeffrey with an unbreakable relationships. We have these alliances. Everybody's down to a five now here. This alliance is not going to last for another word. I don't think so. Rita and Miko with a mutual medium bond. Paka and Becca with a mutual medium bond. Jeffrey and Dirk with a mutual medium bond. And Rita and Faiz still don't like each other. Paka and Dirk with a mutual small bond. Paka and Miko with a small bond. Rita and Becca with a small bond. Rita and Paka now don't like each other either. Okay, Rita is leaving this alliance. I can tell you that right now. Jeffrey and Becca also don't like each other. Yeah, this alliance is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> immediately. It would be kind of funny if Becca leaves and Rita also leaves because then it's just the same alliance as this alliance and Miko Ojo is just back in it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on in the secret lab. We have Celine, we have Taruna. Who is going to win? It is Celine. Celine wins. Congratulations, Celine. Taruna, he is the fourth boot now, right? Third boot? I don't know. He's out. <laughs> Alright, Taruna, RP. Goodbye. Immunity challenge. Let's see who wins. Conspiracy theorists. They win again. They had some losses at the beginning, but they've been able to pull it together. And now they are kind of on a immunity run here. Let's see what's going on on their beach. Alex and Luna find something in common, which has a lasting impact. And then Hector has a major meltdown. Oh no. <laughs> Hector. And from that major meltdown, we have an alliance that does not include him, even though it is like all of his allies. It's Alex, it's Alice, it's Diego, Eloise, and Simon. This could shake everything up. Like, if they decide to take out Hector, that would be crazy. Maybe they're kind of starting to get sick of him. They're starting to see that he is playing all sides here. That would be a big downfall for Hector if he gets taken out soon. Luckily, he's going to survive at least this vote because they are not going to tribal. But let's go to the secret agent speech. Uh, Paka has the idol. Becca and Miko, they bond slightly, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Faiz and Miko also bonding strongly, which has a lasting impact. And the alliance dissolves. <laughs> This is the least surprising thing that could have happened. There was no way. There was like no hope for this alliance. They're done. We're here at Tribal with the Secret Agents tribe. Only seven of them left. We got Becca, Dirk, 
Faiz, Jeffrey, Miko, Paka, and Rita. And it's time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Faiz. Next vote goes to Baka. One vote Faiz, one vote Baka. Third vote goes to Faiz. That's two votes Faiz, one vote Baka. And the next vote goes to Faiz. That's three votes Faiz, one vote Baka. Three votes left. And the fifth person voted out. It is Faiz. He was on the bottom. He was not able to pull in any votes for this tribal. He goes to the secret lab. The tribe has spoken. <laughs> Alright, so it was everyone voting for him. Aside from, you know, obviously him. He voted for Becca. And we'll just move on. Kind of a boring tribal, but it is what it is. Alright, we're at episode number 6 now. What is going on on the beaches? Hector is losing loyalty to his alliance members. Or his alliance members are losing loyalty to him. I should say. This big alliance, not super loyal, but still sticking together. Now we have Simon and Hector with a mutual unbreakable relationship. What? Where'd that come from? Eloise and Diego, they feel a mutual strong bond. Hector and Alex feel a mutual strong bond. Luna seems to be bonded with Alex and vice versa. Then we have Diego really liking Alice. Um, Alice not liking Diego as much, but still kind of liking him. Luna and Hector still don't like each other. And then Alice and Alex, they still have the small bond. Hector and Eloise, they have a small bond. Those two have fallen. They had a, like a really strong bond, but something happened. I don't know what, but Hector and Eloise, they are not as close as they used to be. On the secret agent tribe, this alliance is now at a 7 strength, so that's pretty good. Jeffrey and Paka at a 7. Dirk Dreamer at a 6. But it used to be at a 5, so I mean, at least it's an improvement, right? Paka and Jeffrey, they still have the unbreakable relationship. And then we have Rita and Miko with a strong bond. Paka and Becca with a strong bond. Jeffrey and Dirk with a medium bond. Paka and Dirk with a medium bond. Rita and Paka, they really do not get along anymore. I don't know what happened here, but they don't like each other. Miko with a small bond towards Paka. And then Rita and Becca with a small bond. Miko and Becca with a mutual small bond. And then Paka seems to like Miko as well. All right, let's go to the secret lab. We have Celine Lopez and Faiz Jalil. Can Celine maintain her winning streak? Yes, she can. She wins. She beats Faiz. Very nice. Congrats, Celine. She moves on. Faiz, he's gone. He's officially out of the game. Congrats, Celine. But let's go to immunity. Conspiracy theorists, once again, their winning streak also does not stop. They win immunity. They also win reward, of course. And we will go to the beach. Alright, we have Alex and Hector finding something in common which has a lasting impact. Hector, I guess, trying to repair some relationships after his meltdown in the last episode. Speaking of, we have Alice with a major meltdown. And then she also works hard at camp and becomes tired. So maybe these two are linked. Maybe she was working hard at camp, became tired and had a major meltdown. I don't know. But on the Secret Agents tribe, we have Becca and Jeffrey having a major fight. We also have Dirk with a major meltdown. <laughs> And then Becca and Miko, they bond strongly. Alright, this could be not great for that three-person alliance, I don't know. This meltdown by Dirk could definitely get him booted here. I mean, they don't have the majority. They are three versus three at this point, right? But let's go to tribal. Secret agents tribe, once again, back at tribal. It's time to vote. And if anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Dirk Dreamer. Second vote goes to Rita. So that's one vote Rita, one vote Dirk Dreamer. Next vote goes to Baka. Okay. One vote Baka, one vote Dirk, one vote Rita. Unexpected vote turnout here. Next vote goes to Rita. Two votes Rita, one vote Baka, one vote Dirk. And the next vote goes to Rita. She's eliminated. That's three, that's enough. She had four votes, so that alliance, they stuck together. Despite Dirk's major meltdown, He, uh, they were like, it's fine, just have your meltdown, and then we will still stick together. But Rita, unfortunate for her, she is voted out of the tribe. She goes to the secret lab. Maybe she can beat Celine. We'll find out. Who is the Becca vote? Rita is the Becca vote, and then Miko is the Dirk vote. And then we have Becca like hitching her ride on the men's alliance here. All right, interesting strategy from Becca. We'll go into episode number seven. 
The secret agent's tribe is now down to five. That's not looking so hot for them. They're going to need a win here because if they go into the merge down in numbers, they're done. <laughs> There's like no way. Let's see what's going on on the beaches. Um, Alex and Hector, they are back up to a nine strength. Hector did some great work in the last episode. He's able to pull Alex back in, uh, but he is very much losing his relationship with Diego. They are now back to a mutual unbreakable relationship. Simon and Hector also with that mutual unbreakable relationship, which is so random. I don't, I don't really see where this is going. I feel like they should be in a final two now at this point. Like, why not? I mean, Simon is like in an alliance that does not any, even include Hector. Then we have Eloise and Diego with a mutual strong bond. We have Luna with a strong bond towards Alex. Alex only had a medium bond with Luna, but this this relationship it is developing. Maybe Luna is really seeing that like she needs Alex to uh, get further in the game because she needs to convince Hector because he still hates her. She needs Alex to convince Hector that um, she is worth keeping because she's also not a part of this big alliance here. So Luna, she's really struggling. <laughs> Diego and Alice, they have a mutual medium bond. And then Alice and Alex have a mutual medium dislike. This is new. Hector and Alice also with a mutual medium dislike. And then Simon and Alice also with a mutual medium dislike. What did Alice do? Everybody hates Alice suddenly. That's not looking great for her. <laughs> she could be out here if they lose. On the Secret Agents tribe, we have Paka and Jeffrey with the unbreakable relationship. We have... Dirk and Becca, now with a strong dislike toward one another. What? <laughs> I guess that major meltdown, it affected something, but now Becca hates Dirk and vice versa. Maybe that was what the meltdown was about. Paka and Becca, they have a mutual strong bond, and Miko and Becca have a mutual medium bond. Jeffrey and Becca, they also don't like each other. Why did Becca vote with them? Maybe self-preservation, I don't know. But it doesn't make sense. She doesn't even like anyone on that alliance, or in that alliance, I should say. Paka and Dirk, they have a mutual medium bond. Paka and Miko, they have a mutual medium bond. Miko, actually, surprisingly strong, like, social game from Miko. I feel like she's a little bit of a dark horse here. Because she's not in any alliance, but she is very well liked by her tribe. Miko and Dirk, they have a mutual slight bond. And then Jeffrey and Dirk have a mutual slight bond as well. And then Miko with a slight bond towards Jeffrey. All right. At the secret lab, we have Rita joining Celine, and they will compete in another challenge. And Celine, she continues her winning streak. She wins. Rita Kumbas officially out of the game. Celine only has like one or two more challenges. If she's able to beat both of those, she gets to re-enter the game. So that would be kind of exciting. Let's go to immunity. The conspiracy theorists, <laughs> they win again. They cannot be stopped. They also get to watch Jack and Jill. <laughs> the uh, fantastic Adam Sandler movie. Let's go to the beaches. We have Eloise with a major meltdown. And Alex decides to leave the big alliance. I guess she is fully committing to Hector here. I would assume these four are probably discussing taking out Hector or like opposing Hector. But Simon also with an unbreakable bond. And you can see he's now at a loyalty of four. So I think he's also dipping out of this soon. I don't think this alliance is going to last for a single vote, to be honest. Let's go to the secret agent speech. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go to tribal. All right, we got the secret agents tribe here. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Paka, he stands up. He decides to use his hidden immunity idol on Jeffrey Landgrab. Any votes cast against Jeffrey will not count. Surprising twist of events, but I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Jeffrey. Does not count. Jeffrey. Does not count. Next vote goes to Becca. That's one vote Becca. Miko. One vote Becca. One vote Miko. One vote left. Holy shit, so Jeffrey would have tied the vote here. Why, why is Dirk Dreamer not voting with him? But anyway, the seventh person voted out. It is going to be... Becca Clark. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't really bonding with Jeffrey or Paka, so I'm assuming that they, like, got her out of here. Becca, the tribe has spoken. Seventh person voted out, but she, of course, goes to the secret lab to fight against Celine. Let's see this vote breakdown. So we've got Becca voting for Jeffrey, Miko voting for Jeffrey. Paka is the Miko vote. Okay, and then Dirk and Jeffrey are voting for Becca. Why are they splitting their vote here? Why are they wasting an idol? <laughs> 
Uh, I don't think they needed the idol <laughs> at all. Paka could have just voted for Becca. I mean, he should have known that Becca does not have an idol since he had the idol. But whatever. Idol gone. Idol flushed. Let's move on to episode number eight. Oh, this is the merch episode. Oh, okay. Um, Let's see the secret lab, the final secret lab duel. We got Becca. We got Celine. They will compete in the final challenge and... The winner is Celine Lopez. She cannot be beat here. Just goes on an absolute immunity run. Or not really an immunity run. <laughs> Winning streak. It does not end. She will return to the game. Becca, she's gone. But Celine also receives a clue to the hidden immunity idol. But she throws the clue into the fire. <laughs> okay. A uh, very savage move. But I guess she's like, listen, I don't need the damn idol. I'm going to survive. And I'm going to also prove that I'm not a threat. But Becca Clark, gone here. RP. Let's go to the merch. We have the final 12 here entering the merch. This is the new mother tribe, of course, named after the mother, the mother plant of Stranger Well. And the people who made the merch are Alex Moyer, Alice Martin, Celine Lopez, Diego Lobo, Dirk Dreamer, Aloise Hiddlesticks, Jeffrey Landgrab, Hector Laurent, Luna Shadows, Miko Ojo, Paka Auha, and Simon Scott. Kind of surprising that Luna made it out of there, to be honest. I feel like she should have been voted out at some point. But let's see what's going on on the beach. We got Alex and Hector still with their final two. We got Dirk Dreamer, Jeffrey, and uh, Paka Uha. They're at a loyalty of seven. We got the final two of Diego and Hector. And then we got Alice, Diego, Eloise, and Simon still in this alliance. Simon is down to a three. I imagine he's gonna dip soon. We've got our unbreakable relationships. It is Hector and Alex, and then we have Paka and Jeffrey, and then we have Hector and Simon. So these are the duos to be watching out for going into the merch here. Luna is also feeling an unbreakable relationship toward Alex, but Alex is only feeling a medium bond with Luna. <laughs> Eloise and Diego also with a mutual unbreakable relationship. When did this happen? All right, this could also be a duo to watch out for. Alice and Alex, they hate each other. <laughs> I don't know when that happened, but they don't like each other. We got Diego and Alice with a mutual medium bond. And then we have Luna and Hector with a mutual medium dislike. They still don't like each other. The secret agents tribe, there's like no relationships here. Aside from uh, Paka and Jeffrey. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, we go to immunity and Hector, Hector Laurent wins immunity as well as Alice, Alice Martin. This is one of those last men and last woman win immunity. So two immunity necklaces going out. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We have Hector and Miko bonding strongly and we have, we don't have an idol hidden. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I would imagine they would hide another idol here, but I guess not. So Hector has the only idol in the game at the moment. Celine works hard at camp and becomes tired. All right, let's go to tribal. We've got the merge tribe here, the mother tribe. <laughs> we got Alex, we got Alice, we got Celine, Diego, Dirk, Eloise, Jeffrey, Hector, Luna, Miko, Pakaa, and Simon. Hector and Alice have the idols, or not idols, have the necklaces, sorry. <laughs> It is time to vote. And if anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Celine. That's one vote Celine. Second vote goes to... Alex. One vote Alex, one vote Celine. Next vote goes to... Alex. That's two votes Alex, one vote Celine. And the next one goes to Celine. So we're tied. Two votes Alex, two votes Celine. Eight votes left. Next vote goes to... Alex, three votes Alex, two votes Celine. And the next one goes to Celine. We're tied again. Three votes Alex, three votes Celine. Next one goes to Alex. So that's four votes Alex, three votes Celine. Five votes left. And the next one goes to Celine. We're tied again. Four votes Alex, four votes Celine. Four votes left. The next one goes to Celine. Five votes Celine, four votes Alex, three votes left. Celine, we've got six votes Celine, four votes Alex, two votes left. And the next vote goes to Alex. Six votes Celine, five votes Alex, one vote left. And the eighth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Stranger Well. It is Celine <laughs> going straight back to the secret lab. <laughs> they they were like, no, you're done. You're not coming back. This is our game. Get out of here, Celine. All right, well, 
<laughs> Let's see the vote breakdown. It is Alex, Dirk, Jeffrey, Hector, Luna, Miko, and Pakaa voting for Celine. And then we got Alice, Celine, Diego, Eloise, and Simon voting for Alex. So this is actually kind of an interesting vote break because we have the Man's Alliance on the Secret Agent speech voting for Celine here. And on top of that, we have Hector and Alex tagging along to that, and um, Luna also tagging along to that. And then we have Alice, Celine, Diego, Eloise, and Simon. That's the big alliance from the Conspiracy Theorist tribe voting together, trying to get on Alex. All right, this game is getting kind of complex. <laughs> Let's move on to the next episode. This is a two-parter, and that was because it was a uh, paganging on the season, so they just kind of like tried to speed through some of these eliminations. But we got the final 11, and let's see what's going on on the beaches. We got Alex and Hector still going strong. The former secret agents, Men's Alliance, still holding strong. And then we got Diego and Hector at a 5. These two are just consistently at a 5, and they will not move up at all. Simon is now up to a 4 in the big alliance. I don't know why, but he's getting more loyal. Maybe this, maybe he's back in it. I don't know. We got the unbreakable relationships. It is Hector and Alex, Paka and Jeffrey. Simon and Hector, Luna and Alex are now with a mutual unbreakable relationship. This is, okay, this is kind of a twist here. <laughs> Luna, honestly, like, underrated social game. She has really wormed her way into the power structure here. I think Hector still does not like her. Yeah, they still don't like each other. But she has really won over Alex, and I think that's keeping her in the game. We got Eloise and Diego still with the unbreakable relationship, and Alice now has a strong dislike toward Alex. Let me repeat that. Alice with a strong dislike toward Alex. <laughs> I should not have cast two people with such a similar name on the same season, but here we are. <laughs> All right, Luna and Hector still don't like each other, as I said. Alex has a medium dislike toward Alice. So Alice dislikes Alex more than Alex dislikes Alice. Say that 10 times fast. And then we have Diego with a medium bond towards Alice and Alice with a medium bond towards Diego. Okay. Alex... Moyer, she wins immunity, safe from tribal. Let's see what's going on at the beach. Um, Alice and Simon bond strongly and that's it. All right, it has a lasting impact though. So let's go to tribal. All right, the mother tribe, the merch tribe, they're back. Back to tribal. Alex has the necklace she cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Miko, that's one vote Miko. Next vote goes to Miko, that's two votes Miko, nine votes left. And the next vote goes to Hector, two votes Miko, one vote Hector. Next vote goes to Alice, two votes Miko, one vote Alice, one vote Hector. Next vote goes to Miko, three votes Miko, one vote Alice, one vote Hector. The next one goes to Hector, three votes Miko, two votes Hector, one vote Alice. And the next one goes to Alice. Three votes Miko, two votes Hector, two votes Alice. Next vote goes to Miko. That's four votes Miko, two votes Alice, two votes Hector. Three votes left. And the next one goes to Hector. That's four votes Miko, three votes Hector, two votes Alice, two votes left. And the next one goes to Alice. Four votes Miko, three votes Alice, three votes Hector, one vote left. And the last vote goes to Hector. We're tied. It is Hector versus Miko. He should have used his idol here, to be honest. But let's see. We will have a reboot. The first vote on the reboot goes to Miko. One vote Miko. Next vote goes to Hector. One vote Miko. One vote Hector. Next vote goes to Hector. Two votes Hector. One vote Miko. And then another one for Miko. We got two votes Hector. Two votes Miko. We're tied. Next vote goes to... Miko, three votes Miko, two votes Hector. And the next one goes to Miko, that's four votes Miko, two votes Hector. And the next one goes to Hector, four votes Miko, three votes Hector, two votes left. And the next one goes to Hector, <laughs> we're tied. Four votes Hector, four votes Miko, one vote left. And the next person voted out, it is going to be Miko, Miko Ojo. Miko, the tribe has spoken. She has to go to the secret lab. The secret agents, they can't get it together. They can't get anything done here. Let's see how the vote turned out. Okay, so we got Dirk, Jeffrey, Luna, and Paka'a voting for Hector. 
So this is Dirk, Jeffrey, and Paka, the uh, three-person secret agent alliance. And then Luna tags along to that. All right. And those are also the same people that vote for Hector on the revote. Then we got Alice, Diego, Eloise, and Simon voting for Miko. And then Alice votes are Alex, Hector, and Miko. Honestly, Miko should have just thrown a vote on Hector here. And she would have been fine. But <laughs> she did not do that, so she's gone. We'll move on to part two of episode number nine, right? All right, we got the final ten here. We got Alex, Alice... Diego, Dirk, Eloise, Jeffrey, Hector, Luna, Paka, and Simon. I'm going to need either Alex or Alice to go because <laughs> I can't say both of their names. All right, let's look at the relationships. We got the final two. They are now at a nine, both of them. We got the three boys. We got this alliance going on. We got the large conspiracy theorist alliance. The unbreakable relationships, they are the same. Simon and Alice now have a mutual strong bond. Hector and Alice have a mutual strong dislike. Alice and Alex have a mutual medium dislike, and Luna and Hector have a mutual medium dislike. All right. The secret agent tribe, still, like, completely not on the board here. <laughs> Aside from Paka and Jeffrey, they have their unbreakable relationship. All right, Jeffrey Landgrab, he wins immunity. Is the secret lab not going on? I don't know, but um, maybe after this episode, we will have another secret lab uh, episode. I don't know. Anyway, Jeffrey, he wins immunity. Can't be voted out. Let's go to the beach. We have Diego impressing the rest of the team, and we have Alois and Simon having a major fight. Oh no. <laughs> that big alliance, they are having some infighting. Let's go to tribal. We got the merged tribe here. The mother tribe. <laughs> Jeffrey with the necklace. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Hector Laurent, he decides to stand up. He's gonna use the hidden immunity idol on Alex Moyer, his number one ally. That's honestly kind of wild. I did not expect Alex to even be in danger, but... <laughs> All right. Um, I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Alex. Does not count. Alex does not count. Alex does not count. Alex does not count. Alex does not count. Oh my god. <laughs> Five votes negated, and the sixth vote is also negated. Alex does not count. Alex does not count. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... A wild idol play by Hector here. One vote Alice. <laughs> Two votes left. The next one goes to Alice. She's voted out. Tenth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Stranger Well. Alice Martin. Alex should have been voted out. I guess I got what I asked for. <laughs> one of them voted out. But Alice takes the hit here. Idled out of the game. Let's see who the Alice votes are. It is Alex, Hector, and Luna. Luna? <laughs> I, I don't know. Luna is such an interesting, like, uh, variable in the on the season because she keeps going against Hector, but she's so close to Alex, and Alex and Hector are locked in final two. Everybody else voted for Alex, but she stays in the game. Alice, gone. We will move on to episode number 10. Yeah, okay, so now we have a secret lab thing. Okay. Final nine. We got Alex, Diego, Dirk, Eloise, Jeffrey, Hector, Luna, Paka, and Simon all making it to the final nine. For now, let's go to the beach. We have Eloise finding the hidden immunity idol. And look at this. Alex and Hector are down to an 8 now. They were at a 9 before the idol play. And then Hector uses an idol and Alex, she goes down? <laughs> what What do you even mean? Anyway, we got the boys. We got this alliance. I'm surprised this alliance is still here, to be honest. I feel like they've been consistently at a 5. They clearly don't trust each other that much, but still sticking together. We got Alice Martin out of this alliance, so it's Diego, Eloise, and Simon now. And then we have Paka'a with a mutual unbreakable relationship. We have Eloise and Diego with a mutual unbreakable relationship. And then we have Simon and Eloise with a mutual extreme hatred. <laughs> what? When did this happen? Why does Simon and Eloise hate each other? <laughs> They're even in an alliance together. This doesn't make sense. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll move on. Simon and Hector with an unbreakable relationship. And Luna and Alex with an unbreakable relationship. Hector and Alex, of course, with a mutual unbreakable relationship. And Luna and Hector still don't like each other. Even though they keep voting together. I don't understand how this dynamic is working out. They just do not get along. Then we have Paka and Dirk with a mutual medium bond. They're back on the board for some reason. I don't know why they were gone, but... 
They're back with a medium bond. Simon and Luna also don't like each other now. And Simon now also doesn't like Diego. Simon, I don't know what he's doing, but he's suddenly like uh, hating on everyone. Let's go to the secret lab and see who wins the duel. Or I guess there's three people now. So like Thrupple, what, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> we got Alice, we got Celine, we got Miko. They will compete in their game. And Miko Ojo, she wins. Congrats. Alice Martin and Celine, they are voted out of the game. That's unfortunate for them. But Miko gets to stick around in the secret lab for now. Let's go to immunity. Simon wins immunity. I think he probably needed it, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, everybody like kind of not getting along with him, but good for him. He uh, wins immunity here. He sticks around. So let's go to the beach. We got Eloise with the idol, we got Diego and Jeffrey with a minor disagreement, and then we have Alex and Diego bonding strongly. Alright, let's go to tribal. We got the mother tribe here again. Final nine. Simon has the necklace, he cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Jeffrey, that's the one with Jeffrey. Second vote goes to... Luna. One vote Jeffrey, one vote Luna. Third vote goes to Luna. That's two votes Luna, one vote Jeffrey. Fourth vote goes to Alex. Two votes Luna, one vote Alex, one vote Jeffrey. Five votes left. And the next vote goes to Luna. That's three votes Luna, one vote Alex, one vote Jeffrey. And the next vote goes to Jeffrey. Three votes Luna, two votes Jeffrey, one vote Alex, three votes left. Next vote goes to Alex. We're a very split tribe here. We've got three votes Luna, two votes Alex, two votes Jeffrey, two votes left. And the next vote goes to... Alex. So that's three votes Alex, three votes Luna, two votes Jeffrey, one vote left. And the last vote goes to... Jeffrey, we're tied. <laughs> okay, three votes Alex, three votes Jeffrey, three votes Luna, all three tied. We will have a revote, and if we're deadlock, we will draw for rocks. The first vote on the revote is for Jeffrey. Next vote goes to Alex, one vote Jeffrey, one vote Alex. Next vote goes to... Luna, we're tied. One vote Alex, one vote Jeffrey, one vote Luna. Three votes left. The next one goes to Luna. Two votes Luna, one vote Alex, one vote Jeffrey. And the next one goes to Alex. That's two votes Alex, two votes Luna, one vote Jeffrey, one vote left. And the last vote goes to Luna. Luna Shadows. 11th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Stranger Well, Honestly, I'm surprised she uh, takes the hit here. They were trying to get out Alex, and for some reason they voted for Luna. Who flipped on the revote? Uh, doesn't seem like anyone flipped on the revote. Alright, so the Alex votes are Dirk, Jeffrey, Paka'a. The Jeffrey votes are Alex, Hector, and Luna. These three still voting together. And the Luna votes, they are Diego, Eloise, and Simon. And then on the revote, we have... Oh, okay, so Alex and Luna, because they both voted for Jeffrey in the first vote. And, uh, of course, they could not vote on the revote, so their votes basically just disappeared. Which means Hector was the only Jeffrey vote. Alex votes were Dirk and Paka'a, and Diego, Eloise, and Simon. They kept their votes on Luna, so she is gone here. Kind of a wild tribal, but we have a twist! There will be a second immunity challenge followed by a second vote and Diego Lobo, he has one immunity. We will go back to tribal. Diego cannot be voted for. We got the mother tribe here, Diego with the necklace. It's time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Simon. One vote Simon. Next vote goes to... Jeffrey. That's one vote Jeffrey, one vote Simon. The next vote goes to... Jeffrey, that's two was Jeffrey, one was Simon. Next one goes to Simon, we're tied. Two was Jeffrey, two was Simon, four was left. The next one goes to Jeffrey, that's three was Jeffrey, two was Simon, three was left. And the next one goes to Simon, we're tied again. Three was Jeffrey, three was Simon, two was left. And the next one goes to Simon, so that's four was Simon, three was Jeffrey, one vote left. <laughs> Are we gonna tie again? No, we're not. Simon. 12th person voted out. I mean, I feel like once they got that majority, that same people that just voted out Luna, they basically could securely vote out Simon here, right? 
Jeffrey votes are Alex and Hector again, and Simon, of course. And then Diego, Dirk, Eloise, Jeffrey, and Paka'a are voting for Simon. So that three-guy alliance from the secret agent tribe, they are very slowly gaining a majority here, or like at least gaining a very good standing on the tribe. <laughs> but unfortunately for Simon, he's out here. R.I.P. Simon. He's going to the secret lab. We will see if he is able to survive there or not. Let's move on to episode number 11. It's the final seven now. We got Alex, we got Diego, we got Dirk, we got Eloise, Jeffrey, Hector, and Paka. Let's look at the relationships now. They've got to be like calling a little bit. We got Eloise with the idol, of course. Alex now up to a nine of loyalty to the final two between her and Hector. We got the boys here. Dirk Dreamer actually losing loyalty. Then we have this final two alliance somehow. I don't really know what this is. And then the big alliance is now only Diego and Eloise. But they are both up to an eight now. We've got Paka and Jeffrey with the Unbreakable Bond. Diego and Eloise with the Unbreakable Bond. We got Hector and Alex with the Unbreakable Bond. Diego and Alex now have a mutual strong bond. Okay. That kind of comes out of nowhere. I don't think they had like any relationship before this. Hector feels very good about Eloise for some reason. And then Paka and Alex have a mutual small bond. This is also pretty new. Eloise feels pretty good about Hector as well. Uh, not as much as Hector does about Eloise, but still, it's something. And then we have Paka and Dirk with a mutual small bond, and Eloise feels medium dislike towards Alex. Alright, let's go to the secret lab. We got Luna, we got Migo, we got Simon, and the person that wins is... Simon! Simon wins! Congratulations, he's able to stick around for another challenge. Let's go to immunity. Hector! He is able to win immunity again. He also wins reward and decides to share it with his final two in Alex. All right, let's go to the mother beach. Diego and Hector, their alliance, it's done. <laughs> I mean, it was it was about time. Like these two, they were not voting together at all. I don't know why this alliance was even a thing in the first place. But Alex has decided to join the secret agents boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, very actually strong strategic move if this pays off. I guess that bond she was having with Paka is like kind of paying off here. But if she's able to sweet talk them into keeping Hector, who of course is immune now, so they can't even vote him out, then this could be really good for Alex and Hector if they can stick around for at least like another vote. Let's go to tribal. We got the merch tribe here. We got Hector with the necklace. He cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody plays it, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Diego. That's one vote Diego. Second vote goes to... Dirk. One vote Diego, one vote Dirk. Next vote goes to... Eloise. So that's one vote Diego, one vote Dirk, one vote Eloise. Eloise could be voted out with an idol here. <laughs> The next one goes to Eloise. That's two was Eloise. One more Diego, one more Dirk. Next one goes to Dirk. So that's two was Dirk, two was Eloise, one more Diego, two votes left. And the next one goes to Diego. We're tied. Two was Diego, two was Dirk, two was Eloise, one vote left. And the next person voted out. It is going to be Diego Lopo. He's voted out. I feel like they should have gotten Eloise, but. They don't know if she has an idol, so I can't blame them. Diego also a bigger strategic threat here. He goes out. The tribe has spoken. He goes to the secret lab, I think. I think that's still going on, right? Let's look at the votes. We got Dirk, Jeffrey, and Paka voting for Diego. Those are the three that are getting their way here. So that's the boys' alliance. But Alex and Hector, they vote for Eloise. So this is probably a vote split, I'm assuming. Because so Alex did join that alliance. Then we got Diego and Eloise voting for Dirk. We'll move on to episode number 12, the final six. We got Alex, Dirk, Eloise, Jeffrey, Hector, and Paka. Let's go to the beach. We have Eloise with the idol. We got Alex and Hector, loyalty of eight. And then we have the boys plus Alex. Their loyalty is dropping, actually, because Alex joined. <laughs> but I feel like if she leaves the Alliance, they will probably go back up to a 7. Paka and Jeffrey with the Unbreakable Relationship. Hector and Alex with the Unbreakable Relationship. Paka and Alex now with a mutual medium bond. Paka and Dirk, though, with a small bond. Alright, and uh, Jeffrey and Dirk also with a small bond. So they actually like Alex more than they do Dirk. 
it seems. It's very weird. But Hector and Eloise with a small bond. Eloise and Dirk with a slight bond. Even though she just tried to vote him out. And Paka and Hector with a slight bond. Eloise and Alex with a slight dislike. And Paka and Eloise with a mutual slight dislike. Alright. Let's go to the secret lab. We've got Diego Lobo. We got Simon. And they will compete in a duel. And Diego Lobo, he beats Simon. For finishing first, Diego will choose three people to temporarily join Secret Lab with their loved ones. Oh, okay. I guess this was the loved ones challenge. <laughs> anyway, Diego, he chooses his former conspiracy theorist tribe mates. Eloise, Alex, and Hector, all right. Let's go to immunity. Hector Laurent wins immunity once again. He's going on a bit of a run here. Let's go to the beach. All right, we got Eloise impressing the rest of the team. We got Jeffrey and Paka having a major fight. Oh no. <laughs> These two have been so strong the entire game and now they're fighting and they are fighting again. <laughs> oh my God. These two, are they breaking up? Is this the end of the boys? The secret agents boys? <laughs> Dirk also completely worn out, but is not giving up. Let's go to tribal. This was kind of wild, but we've got the mother tribe here. We got Alex, Dirk. Eloise, Jeffrey, Hector, Paka, our final six. Hector has the necklace he cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Eloise Hiddle Sticks. She stands up. She is going to use her idol. Any votes cast against Eloise will not count. Let's read the votes. The first vote goes to... Eloise does not count. Eloise does not count. And the next vote goes to Jeffrey. <laughs> Eloise only canceling two votes. Next vote also goes to Jeffrey, so that's two was Jeffrey, and the next vote goes to Jeffrey as well. Eloise wasted an idol, Jeffrey voted out of the game. I guess Paka, uh, he was not featuring Jeffrey at all, he turned against him. This is wild, like did he vote for him? He did not actually vote for him, okay, it was the other people on the tribe. It was Hector, Eloise, and Dirk and Alex who were aligned with Jeffrey. I mean, Alex, well, I don't think she was like actually aligned with him. I think she is loyal to the soil with um, Hector, but she infiltrated that alliance. I guess she like got Dirk on her side. She flipped Dirk, gets him to vote for Jeffrey here. Jeffrey is gone. The secret agent boys, I think they are over now. <laughs> like there's no way. But Jeffrey Landgrab, Take sixth place here for now until someone returns. Very unfortunate for him, but he played a pretty strong game up until this point. Didn't do as well as his wife, but you know, it's something. Let's go to episode number 13. We have the final five here. Alex, Dirk, Eloise, Hector, and Paka. And let's see what's going on on the beach. We have the final two. We have the boys alliance. Of course, Jeffrey gone. Uh, everybody is now at a five, except Paka. He's still at a six somehow. We got the unbreakable relationship between Hector and Alex. We got Alois and Dirk with a mutual strong bond. We got Paka and Alex with a mutual medium bond. Alois and Alex with a mutual small bond. Paka and Dirk with a mutual small bond. Hector and Alois with a mutual small bond. Paka and Hector with a mutual slight bond. Dirk and Alex with a mutual slight dislike. So even though she flipped Dirk, uh, they don't like each other. I guess he didn't like that she flipped him. <laughs> but okay, um, Paka and Alois also with a mutual slight dislike. And Hector and Dirk with a mutual slight bond. All right, let's go to the secret lab. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, he comes to the secret lab. Diego is there. They will compete in a duel. And Diego Lopo, he wins again. Congrats, Diego. Jeffrey, unfortunate for him, he's out. He does not actually get 6th place. Now he's gonna be bumped down to a 7th place, I think. Anyway, let's see who wins immunity. It is going to be Hector. <laughs> Hector Lord wins immunity again. He also wins the reward. And he takes Alex with him on the reward again. These two, the power duo of the season. Honestly, Hector, I think as soon as he does not win immunity, he's out. But for now, he is safe. Let's go to the Mother Tribe, see what's going on. Hector has found the new immunity idol that was re-hidden after Eloise used hers. And Eloise and Paka find something in common. We also see another alliance forming. This is Dirk Dreamer, Eloise, and Hector. This is kind of wild. <laughs> Three-person alliance forming at the final five. But let's go to tribal. We got Hector with the idol. We also got Hector with the necklace. Everybody else eligible to be voted for. It is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, and now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Paka. That's one vote, Paka. And the next vote goes to... 
Eloise. That's one vote, Eloise. One vote, Paca. Three votes left. The next one goes to Paca. That's two votes, Paca. One vote, Eloise. And the next one goes to Paca. It's a unanimous vote. Paca, Uha, voted out here. 15th person voted out. So it's the official end of the Secret Agents Boys Alliance. I mean, Alex and Dirk still technically in that alliance, but they don't even like each other. So I think that's done. Uh, also, like, Alex, she was never in that alliance. Like, not, like, actually in the alliance. I don't think she even voted with them once. But we will move on to the finale. We got the final four here. And then we got someone rejoining the game at the secret lab in a second. But the final four, tentatively, it is Alex, it's Dirk, it's Eloise, it's Hector. And let's go to the secret lab, see who rejoins the game. We got Diego, we got Paka. They compete in one last challenge. And... Paka cannot hang in there. He's out. Diego Lobo wins. He went on a bit of a run here, is able to come back into the game. He also throws the clue into the fire, the hidden immunity idol clue. I mean, there's not even an idol hidden, so it doesn't really matter. Also, why are they giving a clue at the final five? That's stupid. Anyway, let's go to the beach. We got Hector with the idol. It's the last time he can use it. We got Alex and Hector in their alliance. We got Alex and Dirk Dreamer in their dumb... Boys Alliance, this is not gonna, this is not lasting. I think as soon as we go to the beach again, it's gonna be like, uh, this alliance done. But we got this three-person alliance, Dirk Dreamer, Eloise Hiddlesticks, Hector Lawrence. Decently solid, Eloise at a seven. But also, Eloise has this relationship with uh, Diego, the unbreakable relationship. Why does she not pull him into this alliance? I don't know, but anyway, Hector and Alex, they have their unbreakable relationship. And now Diego and Alex have an unbreakable relationship as well. All right. We also have Eloise and Dirk with a mutual strong bond, Eloise and Alex with a mutual medium bond, and Hector and Eloise with a mutual small bond. Hector and Diego also with a mutual small bond. All right, so Dirk and Alex, they have a mutual slight dislike. Wait, what am I talking about? Eloise wouldn't invite Diego to the Alliance. He was at the secret lab. <laughs> I'm stupid. Sorry, I forgot, like, immediately. Um, anyway, uh, Dirk and Alex, they don't like each other. Hector and Dirk, they have a mutual slight bond, and Dirk and Diego have a mutual slight dislike. Alright, let's go to immunity, and the person who has won the final five immunity is going to be... Alex! Alex Moyer! So that's both sides of their final two alliance, the Alex and Hector alliance, covered, because... Hector has that idol, he's definitely going to use it, because it's the last time to use it. Let's go to the beach. Eloise and Hector bond strongly. The Dirk Dreamer and Alex Moyer alliance not breaking up, actually. But uh, are they voting together? I don't think so. I, I consider that alliance done. Let's go to tribal. Alright, we got the final five here. We got Alex, we got Diego, we got Dirk, we got Eloise, and we got Hector. Alex has the immunity necklace she cannot be voted for. Everybody else is eligible. And it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Hector Laurent uses his idol as expected. Any votes cast against Hector will not count. I'll read the votes. The first vote goes to Dirk Dreamer. Hector didn't even get a vote. All right, interesting. Maybe he let everyone know he had the idol. Next vote goes to Diego. One vote Diego, one vote Dirk. The next vote goes to Diego, that's two votes Diego, one vote Dirk. Next vote goes to Dirk. Two votes Diego, two votes Dirk. We're tied. One vote left. And the next person voted out. For good now, no more secret lab. It is going to be... Dirk Dreamer. Okay, so Diego not going out immediately again. Dirk Dreamer, unfortunately, 16th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Stranger Well. Joins the jury. The secret agent boys alliance. It fell apart one by one by one. Let's see who the Diego votes are. It is Dirk and it is Eloise. Eloise voted for Diego? Didn't they have like an unbreakable bond? <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Finale part two. Let's move on. We now have our official final four. Alex, Diego, Eloise, and Hector. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We got this alliance. We got Eloise and Hector with a final two now since Dirk is gone. And Hector is actually more loyal to this. Eloise and Diego with a mutual unbreakable relationship still somehow, even though Eloise just voted for him to go. I don't know. But Hector and Alex with a mutual unbreakable relationship and Diego and Alex with a mutual unbreakable relationship. Then we have Hector and Eloise with a mutual medium bond and Eloise and Alex with a mutual medium bond and Hector and Diego with a mutual small bond. All right, we will go to immunity, right? The final immunity of the season, it is won by Alex. Alex Moyer. 
Honestly, Alex Moyer has played a very strong game. If Hector goes out here, I think there's a very good chance that she wins. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We have Alex and Eloise bonding strongly, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Diego and Eloise with a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact. Their disagreement is probably about <laughs> Eloise voting for Diego. It's still only a minor disagreement, but still. Let's go to Tribal. We got our final four. Alex, Diego, Eloise, Hector. Alex has the necklace and it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do it. There's a hidden immunity idol? Why would they allow an idol to last until the final four? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, no one has an idol. I'll read the votes. First vote goes to Hector. One vote Hector. Next vote goes to Diego. That's one vote Hector and one vote Diego. The next vote goes to Diego. That's two votes Diego, one vote Hector. One vote left, and the 17th person voted out. It is Diego Lobo. Maybe they figured he uh, was able to butter up the uh, jury once they were voted out and entered the secret lab, but they were like, Diego, you're gone. We don't want you anymore. Goodbye. I feel like Hector should have been the vote here, but Alois and Alex, they were like, let's go to the end with Hector. But it is official. Our final three is Alex, Alois, and Hector. Honestly, I think Hector has this in the bag. I feel like he's played by far the strongest game. He's had two idle plays, one idle play which saved Alex, and he has like 50 immunity wins or something, I don't know. But maybe they are bitter, we never know. Let's go to final tribal. We have our final three here. Alex Moyer, Eloise Hiddlesticks, and Hector Laurent. All three of them plead their case, and then we have our jury, a jury of nine. They all ask their questions. And it is time to officially crown another winner of Sims 4 Survivor. I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Hector. That's one vote Hector. Second vote goes to Eloise. That's one vote Hector, one vote Eloise. The third vote goes to Alex. We're tied. One vote Hector, one vote Eloise, one vote Alex. The fourth vote goes to Hector. That's two votes Hector, one vote Alex, one vote Eloise. Fifth vote goes to Eloise, two was Hector, two was Eloise, one was Alex, and the sixth vote goes to Alex, so we're tied. All three of them have two votes. <laughs> it's always like this at the end. It's always so split in brand steals. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but the seventh vote, it goes to Hector. So that's three was Hector, two was Eloise, two was Alex, and the eighth vote goes to Eloise. So we're tied. Three votes Eloise, three votes Hector, two votes Alex. One vote left? Is it gonna tie? What happens if it ties? This is why you would not have a nine-person jury in a final three situation. <laughs> but the final vote, it goes to potentially the winner. Let's see, it goes to... <laughs> Alex, it's tied. What? There will be a fire making competition to decide the winner. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, okay, anyway, who wins the final three fire making? Um, let's find out. It is going to be... Alex! <laughs> okay, well, dumbest win so far in Sims 4 Survivor, but Alex, the fire has spoken. She is the winner of Sims 4 Survivor Stranger Well. <laughs> Congrats, I guess. The fanbase would lose their shit. They would be so mad if this would actually happen on the show. <laughs> All right, the Alex votes are Celine, Diego, Luna. The Eloise votes are Alice, Dirk, and Paka. -a. And then the Hector votes are Jeffrey, Miko, and Simon. All right, well, let's see who the fan favorite is. It is Rita Kumbis. I don't know uh, what she was doing, but... Somehow, she's the fan favorite. Let's look at the stats. We got our elimination order here. It is Micah Haas, Jay Huntington III, Taruna Saki, Faiz Jalil, Rita Kumpas, the fan favorite, <laughs> fifth person voted out. Then we got Becca Clark, Alice Martin, Celine Lopez, Luna Shadows, Miko Ocho, Simon Scott, Jeffrey Landgrab, Paka Auha, Dirk Dreamer, Diego Lobo, then we got Hector Laurent and Eloise Hiddlesticks sharing the runner-up spot. And Alex Moyer, our fire-making winner. <laughs> winner of Sims 4 Survivor Stranger Well. Most immunity wins go to Hector. Alex is in second with three. Then we got Alice, Diego, Jeffrey, and Simon with one each. Alex Moyer had 17 votes to be voted for, which was the most ones. Then we got 13 for Jeffrey, 12 for Celine, 11 for Faiz. 
10 for Miko and Simon. Where did we have Eloise? She had five, and then we got Hector with nine. All right. Most strategic was Paka Uha, Jeffrey Landgrab in second, and Diego Lobo in third. So I guess that the Boys Alliance was more strategic than we were shown. I don't know. Anyway, there you have it. Our reigning queen, Alex Moyer, with a controversial win here. I feel like Hector Laurent was the rightful winner here. He should have won, but whatever. It's not my call. <laughs> Congrats, Alex. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.